Rearing livestock for meat and other products is becoming increasingly expensive due to the high cost of animal feed. Farmers resort to growing fodder which they supplement with manufactured animal feed to meet the quantity needed by each animal. Often, the exorbitant costs render their business less viable. Now, a technology that enables farmers to grow fodder all year round is promising to reduce costs of animal farming. Our area, like this can, is called uh, arid and semi-arid area. Uh, sometimes you get that uh, they are the major supplier of milk, but when the rain fails, the, the, uh, most of the cattle dies. But if people can adapt to this technology, there will be no animal that will die. And the technology is so simple and easy. The technology known as hydroponics is gaining popularity, particularly because it costs much less than traditional fodder production methods. I mean the revolution, because the fodder we used to know only silage and hay. Now I'm doing it, the, I'm doing a fodder, which is called hydroponic fodder. You get the fodder within a very short time, six to ten days, you have your fodder. Hydroponics is a method of growing plants using mineral nutrient solutions in water without soil. In natural conditions, soil acts as a mineral nutrient reservoir, but the soil itself is not essential to plant growth. Hydroponics works well because a plant gets exactly what it needs, when it needs it, in the amount that it needs, making it as healthy as possible. A plant grows faster, better and yields more as the roots don't have to struggle to look for nutrients. Using the technology, a farmer can harvest 10 kilograms of fodder from only one kilogram of barley, wheat, maize or oats in just a week. Titus Muema learned of the technology through the internet and decided to customize it using locally available materials. Uh, one mat is just enough for one cow. And one mat is just enough for, four, for six goats or sheep. One month is just enough for hundred chicken. And the chicken, you don't have to give it anything else to consume whole, whole as it is. And they look very healthy. Wemma's entrepreneurial spirit was ignited when he was retrenched and given a send off package. He invested some of the money in the technology that involves the use of water to speed up the growth of fodder using organic microorganisms. By using wooden shells and polythene papers, Mwema put up a makeshift greenhouse in which he is growing fodder to feed his pigs as well as indigenous chicken. When I started uh, uh, doing fodder production, immediately when I was conversant with the fodder, I, I opened a kiosk in, in Moiga town so that I can teach the local farmers. The technology has several advantages. Key among them is the short period it takes to grow the fodder and the minimal space required. The fodder is adequate for the animals with only limited supplements required for additional nutrients. It should be very clear. Mm. You can feed only hydroponic to do well, provided you give it 2% of the body weight. That's just enough. Even you don't require anything else. Mwema is all smiles, knowing that the whole year supply of animal feed is assured. He expects many more farmers to adopt the technology to also grow their farming businesses. People from Kiabu, they usually come, and Mulanga, and Kitale, and they are picking it very fast. Yeah, but I have got somebody very far who came from Uganda. So people are, are picking the technology. Although Mwema's farm is some 10 kilometers from the nearest town of Mwega, access to banking services in his locality has further supported the growth of his business. We work towards a better future. We are not just waiting vision. 2030, we are doing it right now. Equity Bank is doing the same because it is using banking system which are very nice. I can get my money anytime. Now I'm very happy because I'm associated with a bank that is working towards that, uh, to, towards that gold. You can go to the local Duka and get an agent there. You can deposit the money that you, you have in excess. Once you deposit, you can withdraw it through the phone. So the works becomes very, very easy.
because of the devolution. The outcome of the animal feed is evident in the health of his animals. At only six months of age, these pigs weighing an average of 80 kilograms are ready for the market. I've done it in pigs. I've done it in chicken, this Kienyeji chicken, and I'm doing it 100% to chicken. And it has proved to be very important to me because the chicken are growing very fast. His indigenous chicken, eggs and meat also fetch premium prizes at the market providing sufficient income for his household. <laughs>